in your words and full with praise. So it's been a minute since I've been on here. Been a minute. But um, you know when it's just, you're just cooking for one or I be at the restaurants a lot and my goddaughter was just here so we was eating out a lot. So I'm here, I made me some barbecue ribs, homemade coleslaw. Now my coleslaw is different from everybody else. I put me like crushed peppers and stuff in it. I don't like no watery coleslaw and I don't like no dry coleslaw. Like when I be ordering coleslaw out, I be like, I don't want just the cabbage. I want the the dressing. So um, I got my homemade um, coleslaw. Got me some homemade fries with some of my barbecue sauce that I made uh, for my ribs. I just sprinkle some on my on my fries. Let me see which way can I do. And also, um, I made some peach. Um, what is it? Peach peach dumplings. The peach dumplings. So the way my mama used to make it. Um, I did video it. I will be putting it up mostly on TikTok though. Bless the Lord in Jesus' name. Purify with your blood. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, my niece was talking about this the other day. And she made me, she made me want it. So I said, well, let me go on and do it. So. OMG. Go, Bo. Oh, my God. See, that's why I can't make stuff like that because I know I'm going to eat that whole thing. And especially good the next day when it cooled down and that, them flavors. Oh, my God. This is so good. I, for those that love peaches and cobb, I sure wish y'all could taste this. This is just, it's heaven. This, this, this is heaven. This this is saved and sanctified. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. Oh my God, that's good. So, I'm hungry, y'all. See, when I mostly eat, it's mostly like the first meal of the day. Yeah, I'm going to get a barbecue fry. Mm. This is restaurant in Illinois where I'm from. They say, they serve um, barbecue fries. Just, you can just order barbecue fries. And that's pretty much what I get when I get up there. It used to be a big thing. I don't know if, you know, a lot of folks still love it, um, that restaurant, the food they serve. But if I go, it's mostly just for get some barbecue fries. Mmm. Coleslaw. Mm-hmm. Make sure your coleslaw when you rinsing them. Like, even if you cutting it up, your cabbage up, your carrots. When you rinse them good, make sure you get all the water out of it. I think that's why people's um, coleslaw be so runny. Here we go. Here we go, y'all, with the rib. And once again, I did my ribs and my Ninja Air Fryer. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, that thing is just like you grilling outside. For real, for real, for real, for real. Mm. I, I didn't know for y'all, man. I tried to get one that I didn't bite off of. <laughs> mm. I got the real tip on it. When you can chew your real tip, that's how you know it's good. That's how you know it's cooked right. Mm. It's good. Oh, God, it's good. Oh. Y'all know me. Man's is spicy. I can't help it. One lady on YouTube, she said, do everything you make spice be spicy? But, um, I love spicy. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. It's so good. What is that on my arm? I had a reason why I got all of this on. 
Because you see this that's on my arm? It's all over my neck. I cream myself up. I don't know was it the way I slap, but my neck is so sore. I got so much cream. And too, when I looked, I said, oh my God, all that cream is showing. So I said, well, let me put something around because I wasn't taking it off. Not the way my neck feel. Mm. Mm. So good. So... I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Mm. 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 I love the grizzle. I have loved grizzles ever since I was a kid from ribs and rib tips. I have. Yeah, so. I was up in Tennessee with my twin daughter, my baby girl, my god daughter, and we gave us a ball. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. oh god, that's so good. Mm. I know dessert supposed to be at the word. But isn't this something can't nobody tell you how to eat your food? <laughs> God, this piece jumping in the sky. Mmm. Y'all. Oh, God. I still had some real tips in my mouth. And when this hit it, oh, it's just so good together. <laughs> oh, God, that was good. Did I, did I come up with a recipe? Ribs and peach cobbler together. Mmm. Oh, God. Peach dumpling. Oh, God, this is so good. I'm trying to finish eating my other food. Oh, God, it's so good, though. Mmm. Oh, God, that's so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Don't make no sense to it. Mmm. That's good. That's why I don't like to make a lot of that, because I know I tear it up. Mm. Mm, fair. Mm. Mm, yeah. mm, okay. Mm. 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 Peaches and dumplings is good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> I did it every time I bite it, then I think about it now for y'all in I'm sorry, y'all. Mm hmm. I have a grizzle. Mmm. 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 That's good. I call myself just putting a little bit. Because it must be my age. 
I just can't eat a lot. Ooh, ain't nothing like H2O. So with my coleslaw, like I said, you let it drain. Let it drain a few hours before you even mix it. Me, the only thing I use is Hammond's. Hammond's, man, you use what you want, you can buy the coleslaw mix, but I just use Hammond, a little seasoning, my crushed pepper, and if you put like lemon juice in it, it make it kind of runny. So I just use lemon pepper. Give it that little uh. And it's good. I'm really poor. That's that quick. Maybe if I leave this here peach dumplings on. That's not gonna happen. Look, I may not finish the food, but I'm going to finish that peach dumpling. Oh, God, it's good, though. So, so like my page here, let your words be seasoned with grace. Your words and your food. I always say you don't never know what people is going through. Mm -hmm. And so, how you respond to them and talk to them means a lot. What you what you say to people, it could be the last straw. They probably say, okay, that's enough. I'm not going to take nothing else. And you never know if they'll snap. If they go into depression, they try to commit suicide. That's why I just watch what you say. Let it be seasoned with grace. You know? Ask God at the beginning of your day. God, help me to let my words be seasoned with grace. How to speak, excuse me, to whoever. You know, even people on the phone, they get some of my nerves, like them telemarketers and all them. You know, they don't listen to you, though. I be saying no, 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 but I I have spam now on my phone. My spam knocks out even important calls. If they're not in my contact, my spam knocks it off. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That indoor grill is just like the outside grill. Ooh. My fry, when I make a homemade fry, when I cut up my fries and rinse them, I always season my fries. I do not season them afterwards. I season my fries while they're in the strainer. Um, when the water, you know, rinse them good and while they're still wet, I put my salt and black pepper on it and then fry it. Everybody love my homemade fries. They don't even be knowing. It's pre-seasoned. So when they come out, you don't have to put that excess salt on it. So, that's a good idea for you all. I've been doing that. Oh, God. My children were still at home. They were still in school. So, the homemade fries. Mm. Back to my peach and dumplings. Yeah. 
Anybody, mom, used to ever make peaches and dumplings? I'm not talking about peach cobbler. Peach pie. It's just with the dumplings in it. Oh, God. Mmm. I love them. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. It's so good, y'all. Like I said, I did a video of it. So somebody needed, they wanted to know how I make it. So I did a video. Um, I may put it up on this page, but I know I, I will be doing it on my TikTok. Hmm. I'm full. I eat like pretty much once a day. And I can't eat a lot like I used to. I think it's age. I think I'm getting old, y'all. I be still talking about people. I be saying, you know, they old and stuff. Then I have to think, Cynthia, you old too. <laughs> so, but yeah, so. Make sure your words are seasoned with grace. Watch what you say. Forgive quickly. It's still so much unforgiveness. People harboring, harboring crazy stuff. You know, just forgive and go on. Don't don't harbor no unforgiveness, no bitterness, no hatred. You know. I hear folks say, oh, I forgive them. But you can't talk to him. You can't speak. Something wrong with that. Something wrong with that. You know, you should be able to speak. Even if you don't sit down and have deep conversation like you used to, go and kick it together. You know, you still should be able to speak. So, Yeah. We got to get that thing right. We can't let nothing be in our heart but love and forgiveness. Love and forgiveness. Uh, we got to get it right. We got to get it right. You know, most of on my Facebook page and my Instagram, I said, are you rapture ready? And Jesus is coming. You don't want nothing in your heart. They're going to keep you here when he say, come, my people. You want to be able to go. Um, but, um, now, the whole thing is just let your words be seasoned with grace and your food. Make sure your food, bye, y'all. <laughs> Make sure it's seasoned with grace. Like I said, you can take anybody's recipe, but make that recipe become your own. Take out, put on. Put in what you like. Like, this is my mom's recipe. But you know me, I add so and everything, huh? I take it up a notch. I put in what I like. And um, that's what you do. You know, ask God to teach you how to how to cook. I do. Every time, Lord, let this be the best that they ever taste. And show me what to put in, what to not to put in. You know, and taste your food, you know. You can do it. I tell you, you can do it. Ain't no great chef out there that's better than all of it. Because some chefs, I don't like, I wouldn't eat their food. And some I tear it up. Not that they food would be nasty. It's just not my taste that I like. So don't be intimidated by the word chef or I'm a better cook than you. Like my niece knows that I could I can't stand it. I can't stand that somebody like, um, oh, you cook this better than she did. There's no competition to me. The whole thing is just cook. Let it be you. Let it become your recipe. Let it become your recipe. You don't got to cook like 
um, somebody else. Cook like you, like even my mom, the way she cook. I take what my mom cook and I add Cynthia to it. Some things I don't add and some things I do add, which make it my own recipe. So that's the thing. Get on in there and cook, especially those that got your little children. Uh, and that's the thing because I had my kids, my children, I, I just... Mm, I just believed in three meals a day and they had their snacks. And, you know, back then, I'm telling you, I used to get every kind of cereal that was. They love their cereal. They could get through eating a big meal and turn around and eat a big bowl of cereal, you know. But I just believed in three three meals a day. I know some people just go for one meal a day and then it's like 8 or 9 o'clock at night before they feed them. So thank God for the schools that will feed them. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, I, I they had... I remember I wouldn't take my children out to restaurants. I think the first time I took them out to the restaurant, I think my twins were six years old. I just I just wanted them to have real food. And all the parties and stuff they had, like when they turned one, two, three, I would not let them drink no pops, no pops at all. Now, I would have pop for the guests and the guest kids. Because they would give their kids pop, but my, my children, I wouldn't even let them drink pop. Because I always had it in my mind, when they get old, they're going to drink enough pops. And I got, I yeah, I, I, I got one, yeah. She, she loved her Coca-Cola. <laughs> and we was a Pepsi generation. We from Illinois. But she got down south and started drinking Coca-Cola like it's going out of style. So, but I didn't start them off with it because they they had to come some ages before I let, allowed them to drink pop. So, um, yeah. So, but anyway, let it become your own recipe and learn how to season it. Just get your season that you want. You don't have to go and buy all these seasoning that's out there. Every time a seasoning come on, you got to get it and try. Baby, let me tell you the best food that was created and made back then was salt and black pepper. Okay? Okay. And my mom, when she used to cook her, her fried chicken, you know what she did? She got whole garlic and put it in the oil, the cooking oil, and let it cook in there with her chicken. Yes. That was, that was the best food. The best food. I tell you, make you slap somebody was so good. So you don't got to get all these thousand types of all of these seasoning just to get your food good. Something wrong with that picture. You don't got to put buttermilk all on chicken, eggs, and all of that extra calories. You don't got to do that. I'm telling you. Get in there and cook that chicken the way your mama them used to cook it. Your mama them used to cook it. I'm telling you, that was some good food. You know, we, it's, you know, I, I, I'm so with this here cholesterol, you know, we, we putting excess stuff on our food and we don't really need it. We don't really need it. You know, think about your cholesterol. I'm not that I'm, um, better now, you know, but I, it's, I'm just trying to, you know, you don't have to do all of that to get your food to taste good. And cholesterol is a big thing now. People dropping dead. And you like, what well, was they sick? No. They wasn't even sick. They just dropping dead. Their cholesterol was all out of whack. High blood pressure, all them high, high um seasoning with salt and stuff in it, you know. It's a restaurant here in Georgia that I go down that you could get your regular kind of seasoning without salt in it. And so I would go and get big things of that, different kind, like, um, cause the garlic powder, onion powder, you get all of that stuff, that stuff, you could tell they still got salt in it, sodium in it, it's, it's, it, you could taste it, and you shouldn't be able to. So I like to shop down in Atlanta for, um, to one of them big farmers market, um, yeah, that, um, have no salt in it. But anyhow, thank y'all so much for stopping by. I guess y'all said, shut up, Denise. I'm through eating. <laughs> like I said, I think I'm old, y'all. I think I'm old, yeah. Because I can't eat like I used to. I had, what, five little bones of ribs that I did. I ate two. My coleslaw. 
I had two little potatoes that I, I cut up. Y'all, I, I can't do it no more. I'm old. Is that it? <laughs> Can I blame it on my age? But thank God I made it. If y'all knew my testimony. Some folks think they know my testimony. They don't know my testimony, baby. They don't know, but God. But yeah, I got a little of my peach and dumplings left. Nah, I don't care how I'm full I am from there. I'm going to eat this. Mm-hmm. So until next time, thank y'all so much for stopping by. Don't forget, comment, like, and share. Like I said, I got this on because my neck was real stiff and I got so much of that cream on. And to, um, yeah, the cream was showing. <laughs> so, but thank y'all for stopping by. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Love you. Season your words and your food with grace. Until next time. Bye-bye.